Hello, welcome back to the RC Car How To Playlist with your host, me, Honda Dash. And as all of you are probably aware, that this channel does cover a wide area of topics and discussions such as video game walkthroughs, Minecraft videos, and RC videos. And as always, this channel is dedicated to you, the fans that make Honda Dash Productions possible. So with this RC video, I'm going to be discussing how to replace or upgrade your rear driveline stub axle. And this kind of video can cover basically any Traxxas 110 trucks. That stampede, slash, doesn't matter. So we'll be talking about that. Just like the front axles, the rear stub axles can become damaged over time from crash or just general bashing. So let's take a look at how you can do replacing this. Before we get to that, I just want to mention that the front and rear stub axles are different. They have different part numbers, which the front part number is 6851, and the rear axle is 6852. The front are slightly shorter than the rears. Also, the molding where they connect to the driveline is a little different. So which one you're replacing, make sure you get the right part. Just like the front, the rear comes in a package of a whole stub axle, long pins, and with the hex that holds the wheel. So for this demonstration, we're going to be replacing the rear stub axle on the left side. Okay, so the first step is to grab your four-way and take your tire off. Okay, so the tire of move, we can see how the axle is positioned in the bearing carrier. So you can get access to this by going to have to remove the bearing carrier from the arm and this linkage that is right there, remove that so you can go ahead and get rid of it. It's actually a two millimeter driver to remove the linkage. Next thing we have to do is remove the screw pin hybrid fastener right here. It uses a 2.5 millimeter. It only comes out a little bit. Then you pull the pin out the rest of the way. Don't try to keep twisting it in there. Okay, so with the camber linkage removed, now it's time to take the bearing carrier and slide it right off the A-arm, just like that. Okay, so once you remove the bearing carrier itself, you'll see here that inside there is the nub that the tire connects to, and there's also a hex that comes on there. You can use pliers to remove this hex. Okay, so I'm going to use some pliers here, and I'm going to use some force to pull it off. Don't use it too much, though. We're going to pull out that molding piece, the hex molding piece. And inside, it's going to reveal a tiny little pin that's inside that. That actually holds the hex in there. Okay, now I'm going to remove the piece that I broke. This broke because sometimes when you put your shocks way too high, your stub axle is at an angle, like in an L or a 45 degree. So when you come down from jumping it, it'll snap it right off. Another thing to do is actually grab a brush. I use a toothbrush personally and wipe off all the dirt and grime off the bearings themselves. Okay, so what you need to do is take your part out of the bag and slide it in between the two bearings in the bearing carrier. And then once you get that through, take your little washer, put that on first. And then take your pin and slide it right in where it came out. Remember that pin has to go in there to keep the hex on. Now when you take the hex, you'll notice there'll be a little groove on the inside. They'll, so you'll see that's where the pin goes in. Make sure you clean that off first. And then you'll see the groove right there. And that's where the pin goes right in. That's what holds it in place. So match it up with the pin and slide it right back on. Okay, so with everything assembled, we can go ahead and reattach the drive shaft back onto the part of the truck. Now take a close look here. You'll notice that the shaft itself is keyed so that it'll fit in a particular way. Don't try to force it on. If it doesn't fit, just rotate the outer part until you set in. Okay, with the stub axle correctly placed in, now it's time to pop in the bearing carrier into the A-arm. Now, also, you need to take that pin you took out that holds the bearing carrier in the A-arm and slide that right back in. Also remember, it's a 2.5 millimeter hex to screw that back in. The thing to remember, too, is the fact that you do not want to over-tighten the pin. Just do it enough where it's snug, and then that's it. Do not go any further than that. Now you successfully put the bearing carrier on, now it's time to take the camber linkage, use your 2mm and screw it back on. Okay, so the last step is to quite literally put your tire on, and after that, you have done that successfully. Now, I remind you too, these are one of the most common parts to break. 
And I'll say again, it's because maybe because you're bashing too hard or you have your shocks way too high. Maybe you have too many spacers in there or you're not just going enough down on the A arms. But that's about it. This is my video for the RC playlist. Um, I'm Hana Dash. And please subscribe to my channel. Also look at my Facebook page. And actually follow me on Google+. Plus. That way you can kind of get the updates of my new videos and everything else. So everybody, have fun bashing and crashing. If you'd like to leave any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the section down below. Also, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Also, I'd greatly appreciate it if you do watch my videos, please hit that like button as well. If you'd like to contact me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.